guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video welcome back to another hit if this is your first time on my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you don't miss any videos that are coming up from me you're now part of my youtube family and i'm happy to have you guys here so today's video is a hair tutorial video i'm going to show you guys how i get this kind of like sleek, voluminous blowout at home using just a blow dryer, a round brush, and then pin curling my hair. So I know there are a couple videos out there, a couple different styles and ways to do this. Some of them use like the hot tool brush, some of them use the Velcro rollers. In this tutorial, I'm only gonna show you how to do it using the pin curls. This is the way I do my hair every week. This is how I feel like I get the best volume in the least amount of frizz. So this is how I'm gonna do this tutorial today. I'm also super excited because I partnered up with Verb Hair Products. If you're not familiar with them, get familiar. Um, but I've worked with them before, I've worked with them a few times, and they have some new products launching that I'm super excited. I was able to, one, try them out before they launch, but also, I was able to make this video using these products and now since this video is posting, the product should be on their site live. I believe they all launched on the Verb website on February 4th. Also, sorry about the shower curtain in the back. I am in my bathroom. Um, it's nighttime. I waited all day to film this, so we're going to do it in the bathroom. The lighting is good. The acoustics are good. Ooh, my voice isn't that good, but whatever. We're here. We're in the bathroom. This is where we're filming today. So very like I said, they launched two brand new products. They already had a volume range. So they had a volume shampoo, conditioner, and volume like prep spray. Um, they gifted those three products to me as well, but that was not a part of their new launch. That was a part of like the range that already existed. And then they added two new products to that range. So they added the Verb Volume Dry Texture Spray. And they also added the Root Lift Lightweight Hold Volume Texture Powder. So these are the two new products that they just launched. Um, this is not the first dry oil that they've launched and it's not the first dry oil that I've tried. So like I said, I've worked with Verb before. I worked with them and I've used their Ghost line. I have their gross, <laughs> their Ghost dry oil, their Ghost shampoo, a curl conditioner, a Ghost hairspray. I'm gonna use some of those products in this video as well. But yeah, dry oils and sprays, those are not new for Verb. They just came out with new products to add to their texture range. I'm obsessed with these products. I love them. I feel like my hair came out amazing. So this is also kind of an updated video. I do have a hair video actually working with Verb on my IGTV, but I wanted to remake it. Um, so this is an updated version of my blowout video. If you've seen the one on my IGTV, this one is new. We're on to new things. We've grown. We're better. We've got new techniques. My hair's a little bit longer. My skin's glowing a little bit more. So watch this one also. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this voluptuous, you know, blowout salon quality look, go ahead and keep watching the rest of this video and I will take you guys through step by step to show you exactly how I did it. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So I've already washed my hair with the Verbs Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I really love their shampoos. Those were actually also gifted to me. But as soon as I started using them, I was like, okay, I love them. So I did brush my hair out once already. I also put in some leave-in conditioner. Um, I don't have a leave-in conditioner from Verb, so I did that off camera. But what I'm going to do right now, because my hair is still a little bit damp, I just towel dried it for the past couple of hours. I'm going to take the Verb blow dryer brush. And then since my hair is towel dried, I'm going to use the Full Body Weightless Volume Spray. So this is not a leave-in conditioner. I'm pretty sure they do have leave-in conditioners. I just don't have one. But this is like the volume spray that you prep with. So this and the shampoo and the conditioner were already a part of Verb's line. And then the products I'm gonna use at the end, which is the dry volume texture spray and the dry texture powder, those are the two products that they just added to their line. I've already used them, I've already tried them before I made this video, um, but I haven't used the whole line together because the shampoo, conditioner, and this prep like volume spray just came this week. So this is my first time. So I'm just gonna spray this like in the roots, a little bit down to the ends. I have really long hair right now. Uh, oh, this smells really good. 
all of their products are like really gentle when it comes to scent that volume spray did have a scent but it wasn't overpowering it smells like fresh and clean um, a little bit sweet um their verb goes shampoo and i also have the verb curl conditioner which i mentioned i already had some of their products gifted to me but the ghost line doesn't really have any scent at all which i really really like because i do have sensitive skin i'm even like working out a little bit right now um but I have really sensitive skin, so if my shampoo and conditioner has too much fragrance in it, that really like bothers and irritates my skin. And obviously your hair is like right around your face. So I like that their ghost line doesn't have any scent. And then, I actually don't remember, I just, I mean I used this earlier, but I didn't really like pay attention. So no, same, with the volume shampoo and conditioner, it smells exactly like the ghost line. Like, it's a very, very, very subtle fragrance, and it just smells like clean like what you would think of like clean soap so that's something i like about verb like they don't overdo it with their scents and like i said if something does have a scent it's very minimal so i spread a generous amount of the volume spray all over my hair specifically on my roots because that's why i really want the volume now i'm gonna do just a quick like rough dry all over on like the medium setting just because my hair is still pretty wet and if i leave it like this wet and try to go in with the round brush it's going to take me forever so i'm going to go ahead and rough dry it really really quickly okay so i just wanted to rough dry it. i didn't want it to be super dry because i also don't want my ends to look dry when i blow them out with the round brush i want it to be that like nice middle damp area um, and also I flip my hair over to make sure, you know, I get all the volume, all the extra volume as I'm doing like every step. But also as you guys saw, like I lift my hair up and kind of like get in those roots because back in here is where my hair like really takes a long time to dry. So I'm trying to like help that as much as I can. Also, how cute is this cardigan? <laughs> I can't really see it, but I got a couple of little like crop cardigans from H&M and they're kind of perfect for this time of year. Well, no, I'm lying. It's actually pretty cold outside. Um, but anyways, I like it and I think it's cute for filming. So yeah, now that I kind of rough dried my hair, I'm just going to section it out. There's really no, I don't use like a parting comb or anything like that. I just kind of use my thumbs and feel how much hair I want to leave. I have a lot of like pretty thick hair. Um, so I try to do the sections not too big, but also like not so small that my hair stays, like starts to like curl up and get wavy again. That's the thing, I have pretty like wavy curly hair. So if I don't get it fully dry and straight, it doesn't, like you can already see like my little like broken hairs in the back are starting to curl up. If I don't fully get it dry, it just starts to like, by the next day, like it just doesn't last. So yeah, so I went ahead and sectioned out the bottom part and then I split the bottom part into two. Depending on how much hair I section off, sometimes I have to split it into like three or four, but I didn't like put that, I didn't section that much for the bottom layer. So I'm able to just do it into two layers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the round brush and I usually just, because my hair is pretty long right now, I usually just like brush it down and through on top and then just kind of like roll it up from there. You can also do it under, but because I'm gonna put these into pin curls um, as I'm drying, it doesn't really make a difference. I usually pin curl my hair going up. Some people curl it under. It just depends on which way you want your hair to go. Um, but when I'm blow drying it out, I actually will like do under and over, but then when I actually go to pin it, I'll pin it over. It's just my preference, all about preference. Also, I feel like when your hair is like a certain length, it doesn't really make that much of a difference anyways, but. So now I'm gonna go to the hottest setting. Also, I didn't say this, but I'm using the Hot Tools blow dryer. This blow dryer gets really hot, which is what I need for my super like thick and annoying hair. Um, this gets my hair dry pretty quickly. You can use any blow dryer you want. Some people, I know they have Dysons, other people have just like $10 blow dryer from CVS, whatever works for you. But this is the one I use, it's Hot Tools and I got it from Ulta. So I'm gonna put it on the hottest setting and the highest speed um, while I'm using the brush. So if you notice, I kind of roll the brush while I'm using the blow dryer that's so I'm starting to like already curl my ends then I go back through like you can already see like they're starting to like curl under or 
you can already see they're starting to like like flip under a little bit which is what i want so now i'm gonna go back because my hair is still wet i could feel it and go under i'm just gonna do that a couple more times to both sides until they're both completely dry i just kind of switch it back and forth under and over um i didn't say this either i am using like one of the largest sizes for a round brush this one gives you a lot of volume it all depends on what look you want i usually would probably use like a little bit of a smaller one on the bottom parts and then the bigger one on the top so i have like a lot of volume but i can't find my small brush so i'm just going to use the big one for all of my hair but it really depends on how tight like you want the curl and how tight or loose you want like the bounciness to be i want mine to be pretty loose like i said i have pretty wavy hair so if i use a brush that's too small like all over my hair starts to get more like curled or like ringlety and that's definitely not what i want i want like voluptuous like bouncy curls or not even curls just like bouncy like flips is basically what i'm going for then i'm gonna go and finish the bottom of my hair doing exactly what i did um until both of them feel dry So now comes the fun and important part. So it's great like to blow dry your hair in the direction you want it to go. But what's really going to set your hair since we're not using one of those like hot brushes and we're not using velcro rollers, we're using pin curl, the pin curl method. What's really going to set and determine the direction of your hair is which way you roll and curl your hair up. So I'm taking not like a super small section, but a decent amount of hair. This will probably be three pin curls. I kind of split the two sections into like three pieces. Um, this, I don't want it to be too small because again, I don't want tight curls. So I'm gonna take it all the way out, take my finger and take, I don't know if you can see, there's one finger there, one finger up here, and just literally kind of like twirl it in a circular motion. In there it's like a little little donut doesn't have to be perfect these are not this is not like the style this is just setting the style it took me a little bit to get used to like doing this also so if it falls out or if while you're doing it you have to redo one like it's not a big deal at all I'm sure I will throughout this process and I've been doing my hair like this for years so then I just pin it with two bobby pins um, I like to use the long ones because my hair is pretty long, but even when I use, even when I have shorter hair, I still use these. I just, I don't know. I just think they're easier. You can get these at any hair store for like a dollar. I think you can get a pack of like a hundred for like less than five dollars. And then you can also get it from like CVS or Walgreens if you don't have a hair store near you. Um, but yeah, hair stores are definitely cheaper. That's where I get all of my little like things and stuff. And brushes too, because CVS, Walgreens, y'all be trying it. A lot of your brushes are like way more expensive than what it is in the hair store and i don't know if it's because the hair store is selling it at like wholesale i don't know what the tea there is but yeah i try to get my stuff from a hair store or a beauty supply store if i can i also like know it depends on where you live but i live in the bronx so there's like a million beauty supply and hair stores there's like three on my block alone and then there's another one in a shopping center there's two actually in another shopping center, so. But yeah. Just gonna do that to all three pieces. I kind of feel like the back is still like a little bit damp, which is like really annoying, but I'm just gonna have to let my hair sit. So I did it for the bottom. You can see they're not like perfectly matched in size or anything. It's just to kind of set that while I work on the rest of my hair. So now I'm going to just literally do the same exact repeat, rinse, repeat, recycle all of these steps um, until I finish. I do my like front part just a little bit different, but for the most part, it's like the same. So I'm just going to section it off. Ooh, my hair is already starting to get dry on the ends. I need a deep conditioning. I need a trim. That's what I really need. Um, and I forgot Verb sent me over these cute little like pink and white alligator Alligator. <clears throat> alligator clips. Wow. Alligator is kind of a hard word to say. Um, super cute. I'm pretty sure you can buy them on their website. 
They sent it in my PR package, so thank you, Verb. I don't know if I mentioned that, but all the products I'm using from Verb right now are gifted, but I do genuinely love the brand. And as I already said, it's really good for like my hair and my skin. So even if they ever stop gifting me, I will still be purchasing these products. So now I sectioned it off with my little clippies. Going to literally do the exact same steps, rebrush through this like section I'm gonna work on because it starts to dry out like as you're going, obviously. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go around and do the exact same thing I did on the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit bigger sections in this middle part because I don't want my hair to start to get too curled up like I've already said. So one thing I should mention, I have like extremely frizzy hair, but even if you don't have frizzy hair, you should keep this in mind. So after I'm done doing all my like twirls and whirls with the brush, I'm gonna go back in with a blow dryer pointed down. That's really how you're supposed to blow dry your hair, but I find it like hard to really get into like the roots when I have it like that. Um, but I'm gonna go back in with the blow dryer pointed down before I like pin this all up because that helps with frizziness and static ness and all of that. Um, also, I burned my ear like while I was doing this. This blow dryer, this hot tools blow dryer gets so hot, but it is like steaming and smoking a little bit. I know that sounds crazy. Like, am I burning my hair up? I'm not. It's just like, I can't explain it. It just like steams up because it gets like really, really, really hot. But you do have to be careful like by your roots and by your ears. So yeah, keep that in mind. If you do get this hot tools blow dryer, it is amazing, but it does get hot. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with the pin curls because you can already see like my hair starting to freeze up around my edges. But because I already have some little like pin curls in, it already kind of like sections it off for me. I'm going to take another alligator clip though and just kind of like get this hair really like out of the way. So I can get like, ow, the hell? Um, so yeah, I think... I think I think it's totally up to your discretion but I think I am gonna actually split these like in four like split the two into two more I think it'll just give me more um, it'll just kind of set a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did for the bottom row okay so literally this is just all repetition um, because I want it's just like separate brush blow dry pin, repeat. And you do that all over until your hair is dry. Ah! Struggling today with these alligator clips. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pin up this top section. The top section though, I do do a little bit differently. And when I get there, I'll explain why. These parts and these, these pieces don't really matter as much as the top section. I mean, they do in terms of like being dry and like the way you pin them but they don't really matter like directionally as much. And I'll explain why when I get to the top. So same thing, I feel like one of these is probably gonna fall out, but I'm trying to get like really close to the root with this one because this is the front of my hair and that part always stays a little bit wet. So I'm gonna like try to go, I'm like in the root um, and I'm gonna do the same thing like all over my head until it's dry. But it's important to mention, I do take, when I'm doing the blow dryer, I do actually like press it against the brush and then like pull down just to really like smooth out my hair cuticles or follicles. Those are in your scalp, aren't they? Okay, well just to really smooth out my strands, I have the blow dry brush like actually to the blow dry nozzle and that's how I like come down. Don't rip your hair out though. Just do it like gently, but make sure they are like press up against each other so that piece is pretty much dry i'm gonna go ahead you can already see like it's starting to freeze and try to like fight being straightened but we're not gonna let that happen go ahead i'm like very close to the root i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually leave these two pieces out because sometimes they get messed up when i am doing these like when i go to pin the bang the bang um, so I'm just going to leave them out for a second so I can figure out what I want to do. So the reason the front part is so important, you can either A, split this into another two, which is probably what I'm going to do. 
and have kind of more like a long I haven't had bangs in years but like a long like bang piece and then like the back just be like voluptuous and voluminous which is the look I'm going for so what I'm probably gonna do or you can also split it down the middle already and then start to get my little parting cone you can split it down the middle already and then start to like have them come like up the side that works too but I like to do the other way a little bit better and that's why I said that I do the front a little bit differently because Ooh, I'm gonna take out this little piece and it's just kind of like in a million little pieces. Like the front is definitely a little bit more like unconventional when it comes to sectioning, but it just depends. So what I do is I take this piece that I'm sectioning right here. I do this piece the very, very last. What I end up doing is these are all gonna kind of come up the sides a little bit. I'll have like one here and then like a couple here and a couple here. This one is gonna go directly swooped up like in the front because what I'm gonna do is when I let it down, then I part that this little piece into two and then they just kind of like swoop back either way. You can do it the other way where you just kind of like part it and like have them swooped from the beginning, but I think that this just gives it more volume. So that's why I'm doing it that way. And this is also why I already left these pieces out because you see how some of the pieces I just let down kind of like go into that. So now I'm gonna blow dry the pieces that are still wet. And then from there, I'm going to do like break out the pin curls once all of it is dry. So, okay, I'm gonna like section while I section. I'm gonna section my section. So I'm gonna take this back piece and also like section that. So now I have my front baying, my back piece. I have the part that's already a little bit dry and then the part I'm waiting to dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and break that into two. Like it can't hurt to just blow dry them together. And then I'm gonna pin, pin, do the same thing on this side. Pin, pin, back, bang, set, go, done. Okay. I also kind of like shooting in my bathroom. Like I feel like I'm in one of those like Vogue tutorials like Gigi Hadid does her hair in 15 minutes with one product. Like that's how I feel right now. So I think I'm gonna start to do more of my videos in here. Let me dry the rest of my hair. So again, like while we're doing this top part, this is where I feel like you really like notice volume. You really wanna take the blow dryer and like get like under into this hair i don't know if you can like see but i'm like at my root like really blowing that volume in i'm gonna put the powder and the spray there when we're done also just to like really amplify it but i want to give it a good base like i don't want to put a bunch of product so i want to make sure my base is good because then the product is just like the icing on the cake So for these parts, I'm just gonna use these little like silver clips. There's like literally no reason for it. I just couldn't find bobby pins fast enough. Um, they do the same thing, same, I got them from the same like hair store. Again, you can get a pack, like a pretty decent sized pack for very like inexpensive um, price, very inexpensively. So same thing, just gonna pin these up. I think you guys are starting to see the vision now that I'm like at the top part. And you can also see what I mean by like my hair texture. This is after being brushed out twice, smoothed, sprayed, like leave-in conditioned, and it's still starting to like kink and frizz up. So I definitely don't have naturally straight hair. I think I just like post so much, even like my little edge right here is like curly. But I think I just post so much um, with my hair straight that people just assume I have straight hair, but I definitely don't. It is a struggle if I don't like do and blow dry my hair the same day of it being wet, like it's just over, it's in a bun for like the rest of the week. So this is definitely like a style that once I do it, my hair is pretty much good for anything I wanna do to it for the rest of the week. If I wanna curl it, if I want to, you know, do anything else to it, once I have this kind of like base style set, everything else I wanna do for the week is like so much easier. And then I don't have to like touch it with a flat iron. Okay, so that side is in. Um, I'm still like really, really very so, very much so stuck on this whole Vogue thing and now I'm waiting for them to call me. 
it's just the lighting and then like the all white like in the bathroom and I, I think you guys know what I'm talking about it'll be like Rihanna does her everyday makeup in 15 minutes I know Saweetie has one like Kim K has one one day I'm gonna have one but for right now this is mine on my YouTube channel You see, this is what I mean. But that's fine. We'll fix it. We'll fix it in a second. Um, I'm singing Beyonce in my head because I know I can't be the only girl. Like, when you, or boy, well, person with hair, really. There's just something about that blow dryer being on and, like, blowing in my hair that just makes me want to be like, remember those walls I'm being. But first, I'm going to fix what I just messed up. By the time I get to the top, my hair is definitely basically dry, so I have to be careful, like, oof, combing it out. What I'm gonna do first, and I think then I'll end up breaking it, I might end up breaking it into two sections, but first I'm just gonna, like, not roll it all the way up, I'm just gonna have it, like, kind of laying over the round brush. My arms aren't that long, so it's not gonna look, like, really neat, but this is how I do it. Have it just kind of laying over the round brush, turn the dryer on, and just, like, pull straight out. And then do the same thing the front way. This is how I get that like super extra volume. And I'm again like in the root with this blow dryer. So this is a little bit harder to see because my hair is long and it's up, up top. But instead of like rolling it this way, I'm going to roll it under completely. Because I want it to be like a volume, like little roll. You see how it's just kind of like a little like speed hump on the top of my head? So now we're gonna go into, you see what I mean? Like that wasn't even in like a roll for that long. If I do my hair too small, like this is what it all comes out and that's how, I, that's not what I want. So I'm gonna brush that as straight as I can. Just like really wavy and curly right now. Um, again, take this big brush and this is why I don't use the smaller brush if I had one on my top pieces. I would only really use it on my bottom or like middle. Hey, one of my other strands just got caught. That's very annoying. No, thank you. I have to fix that one. I'm actually gonna fix that one now because that's gonna drive me. It's gonna drive me crazy. We have some technical difficulties. I had to redo a few of them. Um, some people do, or sometimes I do. I shouldn't say some people. Sometimes I do wait until I blow dry the entire thing and then pin it for that reason. I just like that it sits longer, like they sit while I blow dry it, especially if I'm doing this and then I need to go somewhere right away. If you like do all your hair and then pin them all, they don't have any time to set. But if you have a longer amount of time, like if you're doing them in the morning and you're not going out until night or you're doing it on a Sunday night and you're not you know, taking them out until Monday morning, you can definitely blow dry all of your hair in the same method and then just like section it all off. It's all up to preference. I like this way better because now they've been sitting the entire time while I've been blow drying. Sometimes you just have to fix them, but yeah, there's really no right or wrong. The longer you let them set, the longer they'll just be like set. I need a synonym for set, but the longer they sit, the longer they'll set basically. So this is like what I said, where you can either split these into two and have one rolled up there, one rolled up there. I'm going to roll it up just in one big piece. I don't want it to be super curly. If you have hair that doesn't curl as easily, or if you have hair, um, if you want the style to be a little bit more curled, then definitely do them in like smaller bunches and do it in like smaller or smaller sections and do it a little bit tighter. I just, that's just not the look I'm going for. But sometimes I do want this to be curlier or like my best friend has straight hair, like literally straight hair. So she'll do them like a little bit smaller and have like more of them because for her, like she wants that curl. She wants it to hold so that her hair is bouncy. For me, if I do it too small, as I've already said, it actually turns into like a ringlet and that's not the vibe I'm going for. Um, so now they're all in. There's a few pieces that are like kind of falling down this one is kind of actually a long piece i'm just gonna do like a little mini because i really don't want to like take them out and this is like a little bit what is happening here um when i did my reconstruction i must have missed that one but just pin that little piece up it's fine we're gonna brush it out when we take it out anyways 
So now what I'm gonna do, I have to just go grab my hairspray. BRB. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Verb Ghost hairspray. This is their weightless medium hold brushable texture. I'm obsessed with this hairspray though. Like I am literally obsessed. And I will link all of these products in the description box. I think I also might have like a 10% or 15% off code. So if I can find that, I'll also link that in the description box. But I love this hairspray. I go to brush my hair. It brushes and like my hair isn't sticky, but it still holds. Like I love this. I love their whole ghost line is like one of my favorite hair care lines in general. Um, I'm gonna go in with this hairspray. I'm just gonna spray it all over. And then I'm going to go back with the blow dryer. My, this Hot Tools blow dryer has a cool shot setting right in that middle. So I'm gonna hold down the cool shot setting. I'm gonna turn the heat all the way down, hold the cool shot settings um, button, and then I'm gonna turn the speed up and just kind of like set that hairspray. I'll probably put the speed, maybe I'll put it to medium just so it doesn't like blow my hair all around, but just want to like gently set the curls and like kind of blow some of the hair back. It's gonna feel like a tad tiny, tiny bit sticky while the hairspray is drying if you use the ghost hairspray but th that tackiness will like dry and it'll go away once you brush it so that step is super important for just like setting your hair but also giving it some extra shine whenever i do this style like i have to do that cool setting or it just doesn't like set the right way um most blow dryers have a cool setting on them or just turn the heat like as low down as it'll go so i'm basically done with my hair i'm gonna let this sit for just a couple hours most of the time i'll do this on like a sunday or a monday and i'll let it sit overnight once it's already in this blow up style and once it's like brushed out it's like good for the week it makes it so much more manageable for me and so much easier for me even if i do like a ponytail the ponytail looks better because the ends are just like polished and just like done okay so i let them sit for a little bit and now i'm just gonna start to take them out um you can see they're just kind of like a little bit coiled at the bottom. I didn't want them to be super curly, like I already said. So I'm so dumb. As I was taking it out, I like paused the camera at one point and then I forgot to hit record again. So I took most of them out. Um, the good thing about this style, as I thought I was recording and saying, is a lot of times throughout the week, what I'll do is like, I already have this style done and i'll just kind of like redo those pin curls like a couple times throughout the week to just kind of keep my hair fresh and like set the way i want it to be um you don't have to that's just a preference thing also like there's a couple pieces i see in here as i was taking it out that aren't completely straight sometimes what i'll do is just take the blow dryer over and just like smooth it out like one more time or if i was going to do like a curlier style or like a bigger style with like a curling iron which i'll definitely do on my channel one day um then i would just like go into that after i take these out i'm not going to do that today i'm just going to leave the blow dried like look and i'll brush it out and do the volume uh spray and show you what i mean so now that it's all out this is what it looks like i step back from the camera a little bit you can see like the volume in my like root you can see the volume like at the top. I'm just gonna take this like the same paddle brush I used in the beginning and then just brush through any of that hairspray, any of that like frizziness, brush through the top first. Then I'm gonna like work on the bottom, just kind of smooth like any of the extra. But you can see like that my hair is kind of polished at the end. It's flipped. If I do a ponytail like later in the week, it'll be nice and like still look done. Just that like salon style. Like, you know, when you go to the salon and you get your hair blown out, then your hair is kind of like good no matter what style you do the rest of the week. It's just like so much more manageable and like easy. So I part my hair down the middle. You can part your hair whichever way you desire. And yeah, I mean, you can see like, it's just so, has so much volume in it. It's bouncy. I will do a video, like I said, I will do a video with like big bouncy curls. This was just more of like my everyday, like every week, just like traditional like blowout. So now what I'm gonna do, so I kind of like parted and styled it the way I wanted. I'm gonna take this Verb Root Lift and Lightweight Hold Volume Texture Powder. So this is one of the two new dry like volume products that they 
made. So I'm just gonna kind of like pick up a little bit of my hair, do two, two little puffs, get like down, two puffs. It says you only need two puffs. Um, I'm gonna just kind of do like two puffs throughout. It's almost like a dry shampoo kind of vibe. When I first used this, I went to the gym the next day and I swear my hair didn't feel like sweaty like at all. So I'm just gonna rub that in with my hands. You can kind of feel like where you sprayed it, but it doesn't feel like heavy or anything like that or like sticky. You can just kind of feel like a little bit of like a texture, which is totally fine. And then I'm gonna take the Verb Volume Dry Texture Spray these dry sprays they're like a, they're like my favorite thing ever because you can spray it all throughout and it really doesn't like weigh your hair down at all and i'm just gonna really like generously spray make sure i get all my layers and same thing just kind of like rub that around a little bit and then just kind of like fix so it just gives it like some texture some like just gives it that kind of like played with messy but like purposely messy look you know so that is it this is the finished look this is like i've said my go-to look when i go out for the for the night if i'm going to dinner if i'm going out with my friends um it's the base for all of my styles it's the style i pretty much do weekly unless i'm just like having a lazy week but this is like my go-to method and style and blow dry routine with the pink curls so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video make sure you guys go out and get these volume products they are honestly amazing my hair doesn't feel weighed down it doesn't feel like i have a bunch of products in my hair and they launched last friday february 4th i believe and i'm posting this video by the time i post this video they should be like live on verbs website for you guys to purchase um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching until next time make sure once again if you haven't subscribed already that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i hope you guys enjoyed this leave a comment down below let me know what hair video you guys want me to do next um just go ahead like we've already started to get to know each other i did my hair with you so you might as well go watch that next video like just just do it while you're here if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe watch more videos like you know get comfortable we're already in for the night just do it